guys, today I thought I'd give y'all an introduction to my truck that I owned before my 6.0. Now, before we get going into the video, if this is your first time coming to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. That way you can catch up on all the latest content that'll be coming here soon. So, getting right into the video, this is a 2002 Ford F350, which is powered by the 7.3 liter Power Stroke. Uh, it is also a crew cab short bed like my 6.0 however instead of being a king ranch it is only a xlt which is basically the work truck model for those of you who know four trucks aesthetically speaking for this truck i didn't do anything to it i didn't lift it didn't do any type of different tire wheel setups all i really did was i put some aftermarket tail lights and a third brake light on it but those of as obviously as you can see I've seen their wear and tear as that one's all nice and cracked and busted up from where somebody probably backed into the truck. Um, it, it has taken a beating. I'll show you all the damage on this side. Uh, ended up wrapping that around a pole at a dock when we were trying to pull a, a boat out off the uh, boat ramp. Replaced the mirror, but it was before the 08 trucks were out, so we still had to keep that older style, style mirror. Um, never really had the time or money to do anything real big performance wise to it now I'll pop the hood here for y'all so y'all can see what is done underneath it so didn't do any big injectors no big turbo kept it simple so the beast that this does not die so yeah it has a canon intake system uh stock turbo stock injectors didn't put any type of fuel system on it the wires that you see kind of wrapped around everywhere go to the fog lights that i put on it they just have the halo rings inside the lens um the only thing that i did do to the turbo i did put the wicked wheel in it which for those of you who don't know it's just the compressor side uh wheel out of an obs the older style 73 turbos so it does have an exhaust. It is a four inch straight pipe to a five inch tip, which dumps out right beneath the right rear wheel, as you can see right there. The exhaust combination has changed up quite a bit since I owned the truck. Uh, at first it was a four inch straight pipe with a muffler. I got tired of it being muffled. So then I did a four inch complete straight pipe, got rid of the muffler. I switched it up to an axle dump for a while, didn't like the axle dump, and then I finally put it back to what it is now. And it's been that way since my dad owned the truck after I gave it back to him after I purchased my 6.0. So just to show y'all also just the interior wise, uh, nothing major done to it, forgive the little mess in the CB antenna, I had to take that off to take it through the car wash. Uh, instead of doing the Edge CTS2 like I did in my truck when I first got this truck, I put the glow shift gauges in it, which all they really have on it, I have the boost up top, the EGT in the middle, and the trans temp on the bottom. For those of you who own a 7.3, that's pretty much stock. That's the only thing you really need. So, yeah. But other than that, that was pretty much everything I ever did to the truck. Just to give you all kind of a background of the truck and how we came to own it. My dad purchased it in probably 2005, 2006. Uh, he owned it up until I was in high school and I needed a vehicle. Uh, he did not want to buy a new truck, so this one was just sitting in the yard, not even getting used. So he said I could drive it as long as I maintained it. So I drove it uh, through the end of my high school years, into my college years, doing the maintenance on it as best as I could. Most of you know, being a cop broke college kid is hard and owning a truck or any vehicle at that is pretty challenging. So I owned this right up until I bought my 6.0 and then gave it back to my dad who has been driving it ever since. So for the miles, show you what it is, let it focus. So it's got 322,000 and counting. It will go up. It is my dad's daily driver. Um, I, st I still like to help him with the maintenance on it when I can, as best as I can, being that I live almost three hours away from him. But uh, yeah. So we're gonna to try to get it to half a million miles, the big 500,000. It's gonna need a trans here soon as well as some a new turbo probably because it's got a lot of shaft play and the compressor wheel has some nicks in it. So once we replace that, it should just keep moving right along. So 
But guys, that pretty much wraps up the video for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section down below. This will probably not be the last you see of this, this truck because with it being in the family, I will every once in a while be able to just kind of stop in and get a mileage update filmed about it. I uh, hope y'all did enjoy seeing the truck. I apologize for my stammering a little bit. I'm still getting used to filming. Um, still only filming with my iPhone, so still providing a challenge. I will be striving to make better videos and having better content here for you guys soon. So, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you have a blessed day.